Hey, welcome back to me playing Tears of the Kingdom. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you have been enjoying this so far. I just remembered that I got this yesterday. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I will look into upgrading it, but as it stands right now, Korok Mask, I need to wear it. So, I mean, it's, it's interesting, but it's just... Okay, uh, let's go with my, my setup. But yeah, I mean, we're, uh, we're good. Fully upgraded. Right, so there's the quest for the three Hinox. We need Hinox guts to upgrade that gear, so. Give me a sec. Yeah, I mean, I haven't done some of these stories, but, alright, um... One sec. This is... Alright, this one bothered me, because I swear I did it. So let me just go here real quick. I'm, I'm like pretty certain it's done. But I do want to go do the uh, the quest where we're beating the Hinox brothers or siblings. Okay. Oh, new quest. A floating place. I'm sure that is what I heard, but Link, how wonderful. You uh, heard me talking to myself, right? Since you here, I must ask you something a bit odd. Have you heard anything about a floating place? A floating oh. place? Here's my tale. My dear wife, May, went out fishing. She was singing this mysterious song to herself. Mm -hmm. I found a floating place where I'll catch a fish with grace, a hop, a skip to a great fishing trip. With that, my wife hopped and skipped over the bridge in the east of the domain. At the time, I paid no heed. She is given to sons of fancy, but her absence has started to weigh heavily on my mind. A floating place and a hop skipping away. Never heard of such a place. My wife is the type to rush off in a fit of excitement. I am worried that she will do something rash. Oh, my beloved May, I dearly hope that she has not gone somewhere dangerous. Okay. Is he? He's on the other bridge. All right. I still have the photo. I swear I turned this in. It must have been like a a bad save. Such loveliness. Okay. Oh. Oh, ha, 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 ha. That's why it didn't get finished, because I didn't have room. Okay. That's why it didn't get finished. That makes sense. Okay, cool. Okay, while I am here, we need more standard food. Making some of these while I'm here. It 
somehow eggs don't come up, but that's fine. Uh... I just want good heal stuff, honestly. Steamed meat. Okay, that's better. This is probably the easiest recipe I can make. That's an even better one. Alright, that'll do. Okay, from here... Give me a sec. I've got to go back to the ruins at some point. Wait, where are the three? Oh, that one. That's the one I was looking for. Okay. Because I need high enough guts. So, I notice my weapons are starting to run low, so let me make a few while I'm here. Uh, yeah. Make three of those. On that one because it's most likely going to be wet weather. I'm probably going to need these at some point, so collect them. make some half hour speed buffs all right yeah <laughs> oh man the naruto run
Hey. The sound went off. Wait, what was that? He said so it said something extra, I just what did it say? I'm gonna have to look at what it said. Something about back to normal. Hmm. Yeah. Let's go around. Okay, so one of them should be here. Not good. Somewhere here. Oh, there's a cave here. That doesn't eat too much energy from it. Ow. Wait, there's nothing here. Okay, I thought it was another tunnel. What? Oh, this is a what the. Another chasm? No. Hinox is going to be here. Oh, 
I'm surprised it's not here. Wait, there's more over there. No, what? It goes up. No, but this is where I came from. Is there really nothing else here? Nope, here we go. Yeah, it's here. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Heard it a bit more. Oh. <laughs> Alright. The music didn't even get a chance to start. Guys, please just. <laughs> Alright, that's one. Okay, so this is more common now. Oh crap. Side up water, please. <laughs> so, since it's a Zora weapon, when side on shields, it gives more damage to it. Kind of neat. Okay, uh, what's the next one? Hmm. Ah, the. Uh. It looks like they're all cave dwellers. <laughs> 
strong, long stick stick. Uh, I'm good. Oh, what is this? Okay, uh, attach. Does it work? Okay, I see some use. I see some use for the robot. If I need to do mining. Can't pick that up. So wait, does it get to keep the rock? It does. I'm curious if it's when it attacks, it's just gonna shatter it eventually. on the way. They're not going to be used for anything. They're kind of past the... Curious about something now. Okay, let's say Is this gonna work? Not the toenail, ah, uh, not that. <laughs> it doesn't attach rods, but it can attach swords. Okay, hang on. I have a toenail, and I'm not afraid to use it. <laughs> okay, hang on. I make a okay then drop it can I pick it up that's the question it looks so stupid with that turn out
So it has to be a basic weapon. It can't be like a fused weapon. That's a weird... It's a weird restriction. Okay, I guess. No, not letting that go to waste. That's a very strange restriction. I still gotta get the frog, so I gotta look for it. chamber hidden behind one of these. So, where in this chamber is it? I suppose that's another thing I'll have to collect, is just all these frog gems. I've been doing it as I go, but it's just, I guess I have to go to every cave. That was easy. Dude. <laughs> I 
that's gonna keep happening now it's a massive crowd of allies and i'm just gonna keep accidentally talking to the wrong one or doing the wrong thing Especially in the enclosed space. go this one because it, it just got like a buff from water Gods, yeah. I don't know if that's enough to upgrade the the gear, but to start, uh, I guess I'll swap out the bow. I've used it quite a bit. There we go. <laughs> uh, might be bothered. Suppose it's not that big of an effort. Not a lot of stone. Alright, um, go back here. Oh, man, I wonder what that Korok said. I can look back at the VOD and just, like, quickly pause it and find out, but it said something unique. I've never seen one say something other than, yeah, ha, ha you found me. Where's this villager that needed help? There you are. Oh. Word has it that those three giant monster brothers finally left the caves. Hmm? Huh? What's that? Now you did it. You mean you defeated all three of the monsters by yourself? I've seen enough faces in this job that I can tell so from someone... Oh, from looking at if someone's lying. Jeez, I can't read today. And you aren't. I don't even have to go check. You really did it. You defeated the monsters on behalf of all of us at the stable. Thank you. Please take this small symbol of our appreciation. Fri oh, Mighty Fried Bananas. That's a good one. Okay. You've got your rod, but if you ever need luminous stones, feel free to take all you can from the caves. Okay. It's fine. Uh, Beetle. Come here. I need to buy arrows from you. Uh, for a hearty elixir, yes. That's a very good trade. He's got sticky frogs, hell yeah. I'm out of money again, so... Yeah. Oh, 
Wait, what the heck are those things? They exist in this game? The dongos? Or dondons are different. What is this? Uh. Mama, you must have come quite a long way. This is a sanctuary for dondons, the new animal species discovered by Princess Zelda. Dondons are quite precious as we've only found five of their kind in the wild. Please be gentle if you touch them. They might look intimidating, but you've got nothing to worry about. They're a good nat natured sort. When the princess came to research the Dondons, they used to go tromping around after her wherever she went. I think they're actually quite fond of us two-legged folk. Mm -hmm. That reminds me, did you hear the rumor that Princess Zelda was being seen riding a beast? Well, I'd bet what people actually saw was her with a Dondon back when she established a sanctuary. Just goes to show how much rumors can take on a life of their own. Dondons aren't beastly, they're adorable. Aye. Hey, partner! Well, I resolved this quest. Ah. I caught sight of you while I was looking into things at the stable here. I've heard there are rare animals around here somewhere. How about you help me dig into a story here, partner? Oh. What? Hold on, you're saying this all relates to that beast people have seen Princess Zelda riding around on? So it wasn't a beast at all, just a newly discovered animal called a Dondon. And it was Princess Zelda herself conducting research on them. Wow, rumors can really get out of hand, can't they? Can't they? I mean, it's hardly a mountain of a beast, not even a small hill. All that talk of brutal tusks was ever blown to. That's why a good reporter must confirm the details before they go to print. You did a good job, partner. We've worked together on ten of the stories relating to Princess Zelda. Getting to the bottom of a mystery will no doubt improve your reputation. Tracy will be happy to hear about your efforts. Go and add this to your nest egg, partner. Good, I needed money. Ah. The newspaper has been doing really well lately, and Tracy sent us a little bonus as a result. It's nice to see that she values our hard work so much. Go on, take it. Good. Ah. I'm gonna hurry back and get the real story published. You take care, ah. partner. So long. There can't be that many of those left. Okay, that's done. They look like Pokemon. <laughs> they look so dopey. This could easily be a Pokemon. So, I'm not going to actively go after Koroks today, but I think I might make a, an effort to get as many as I can tomorrow. Because we're kind of at the end of the game now. So, it's like, I either commit to the Koroks or I march to the end. I mean, Koroks and the caves, there's, there's still stuff to be acquired. But I, I guess if I get Koroks, I'd be getting the caves anyway. Because I'd be combing the map. Honestly, without looking for them, I've already amassed almost 500, so... Can't be too bad. It seems to be better this time around in terms of finding them. There's one over there. <laughs> I 
I need the full set, but it is there. Central Rock. Really? Is this one gonna say something unique? Let's just say. No, it didn't. What? I don't know what was up with that other one, but yeah, it said something different. I'm just going past places I know I didn't really look into. <laughs> oh, hang on. A little bit more forward. Apparently I didn't explore this beach. still have your toenail. <laughs> it still has the toenail. Okay, I'm curious. Hang on. I'm curious about something. Does this work? Okay, not that. Attach the left hand. Attach. Then I can. Okay. <laughs> So stupid. Okay, okay. Now, can I... Can I big brain this? No, it doesn't let me. Okay, I want to see this. Go on attack. Oh my god. <laughs> They're acting like hammers. Oh, 
I, I love it. It looks so dumb. But in the best way. Oh, can't do the Naruto run anymore. Sandy chicken. Mm -mm. I'm surprised there's no Korox or like a cave or something. For missing a whole beach, there doesn't seem to be a lot here. <laughs> oh, man. I'm so easily amused. Surprisingly empty. Oh no, there we go. Wait, why are you scared? I can't interact with the Korok. This happening. It's guarding against what? Is, what are you guarding against? Oh, Peblet. Okay. <laughs> it's like what is going on? I can't talk to the Korok. Okay, there we go. I should resolve it. All right? No, that's still. This one's easy. guy. 
This is by far my greatest creation. So probably go up the mountain. Oh, see the pieces behind me. Oh well. I'm surprised there was only one core up here. So it's not as robust as the, the motorcycle in Breath of the Wild. It, it lasts a lot longer. Oh shit. Whoops. <laughs> Alright, I guess there's not a whole lot else to do here. Well, that fine.
All right, so let me look here. There's this whole. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going there. I marked the spot that I saw. And I'll check if, how many Hinox guts I have. Uh, I'm not halfway for the Korok, so. Okay, there's enough to make the flying device, but I feel like that's probably not the best call. Wait, is this a. What is this? <laughs> Just have no purpose for the horse, honestly. over here just in case there's something. Doesn't look like it. Okay, no Korok here. Which is surprising. There's one over here. Okay, first. Alright, that's what I saw from a distance. Is this one of these ones where I had to put. Stopped. Why? Where is it? Yeah. Makes me laugh. Exactly what I'm hearing. It goes further down. Oh, okay. This is like Hylia. All right, so that's what I was detecting. Oh, 
<laughs> it's like a nice cutler, I guess. Easy kills. Nice. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, what have I got? That one can go. <laughs> Haven't seen the frog yet. There is frog. I see frog. Please don't go all the way through. Yeah, I think it. Yeah, I went all the way through. Oh. Maybe that is the right idea. Where'd the gem go? Down there. anything else there or was that just imagination? No, okay, there was nothing else there. Because I had to roughly point out what I was looking at. I wonder if it's going to let me know once I've gotten all the gems. Ah, oh, it's just this. Hey.
It's bothering me now because it. <laughs> other Korok said something else. And I just kept spamming A. So I didn't get to read what it said. Probably cover this a bit more. I might get to see what the remaining quests are for the uh, the frog piece. Like it's nearby. Ah, oh, I got like a minute to go get it. River. I'm not that fussed about the star, to be honest. I wonder if the... Well. It's always in the top five of worst Korok seeds. I wonder if they put anything here. I think it, it, it was here in Breath of the Wild. Just to reference the fact that, yeah, it was here. It doesn't look like it. Checking. Yeah, I'm a little surprised there isn't more here.
Alright, stop. Okay, uh... Let's see, that plateau probably has something. Pretty much guaranteed there's one that like along the top here. There has to be, every mountain has one. The surprise nothing's turned up yet. Why? Really? I mean, I guess one way they streamlined the number of Koroks is... Oh, you know what? I bet overall there's less, it's just the number adds up to be more. Because some of them give you two seeds. So I bet overall there aren't as many. It just makes it seem like there is. I mean, I looked. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go... And just see what's left from... From this. It'll tell me which stable to go to.
Let's see. Okay. How's it going? Are you and Penn getting along okay? Did you lose track of your partner? To Bantha Bridge. Did it be a... Oh. To Bantha Bridge. Alright. How have I not... Weird. <laughs> Maybe I just didn't talk to him. I don't know. That's strange. I didn't pick that one up. I need, but I'll purchase this. Oh, there's a well here I haven't gone down. Be smart about this. to keep going. Okay, it's, it looks like it's still a well. It doesn't become a cave. Hardly a trace of a recipe remains, just the remnants of a half-eaten Hylian pinecone. Hey partner, you're looking good. Were you also pulled to this place by the inescapable tug of a story? I'm chasing some new chirps and warbles from my beloved little, little birds. A group of goats is a herd, or a trip, or a tribe. Anyway, this stable has been raising a small herd of white goats. Or it was until all those white goats up and vanished all of a sudden. That's not where it stops, though. Some have said that Princess Zelda may have been involved. Anyway, why don't you talk with Chalk, the guy who was taking care of the white goats. I'll look for more clues. Oh. Partner, time for you to get to work. There's a big scoop here. I can feel it. Oh. Hey, buddy, have you seen some white goats around here? I'd given those goats all the love and care in the world, but the other day they ran off together. 
They didn't even finish their food before they left. The Hylian pine cones weren't eaten. I followed Princess Zelda's recipe perfectly, but what could have been <laughs> what could have been the fee that drove them off? Recipe? Princess Zelda shared a recipe when she visited the stable a while back. It's really amazing how much she knows about animals. I never would have expected her to be developing healthy feed recipes. In this case, it's a recipe for a special kind of feed for white goats. The main ingredient is fresh Hylian pine cones. It's actually pretty unusual. It requires you to mix pine cones in whole. You don't grind them down or anything. I didn't want my wonderful white goats to eat the recipe the princess gave me, so I put it in a glass bottle. But a big storm came through one day and blew it, blew the bottle off somewhere. I wasn't able to find it after that, so I've been making the recipe from memory since then. But what would make my white goats spit up the pine cones and run off like that? Did they did they really hate Princess Zelda's recipe that much? It's not in the well, is it? Would be, I would have seen it, I think. Okay, never mind. Let's look for the pump. I maybe. Hang on. And there we go, trail of pine cones. Just follow them. trail. Those are my white goats, so this is where they ran off to. <sighs> there, there. I'm just glad to see you. Are you all okay? And you're the one who found them. Thank you, I won't forget this. Oh. This bottle. This is what I was using to keep Princess Zelda's recipe safe. Let me see it. I need to check the recipe. Hmm, uh... yes, yes. Oh. Wait. Oh, no. Grind the pine cones into a powder. I'm not supposed to use Hylian pine cone hull. I should have known something was off. It did really, it did look really hard to eat. My poor sweet goats, they must have run off because of the awful food I was making them eat. I'm so sorry, I hurt you all when I thought I was helping. It was all my fault. I would have run away too. I can't believe I doubted the recipe that Princess Zelda shared with me. I should have noticed my mistake right away. After all, I really do want to take the best possible care of my goats. But it's not just about what kind of food you feed them, right? It's important to show them you care with all your heart. Mm. I swear that from now on, I will take care of you all with the same kindness and compassion that Princess Zelda displays. That's the best way to show my gratitude for her recipe sharing with me. <laughs> oh, and I really, really can't thank you enough for finding my white goats and the recipe. We're going to head back to the stable. You take care. Hi! 
Hey, partner. Ow! I saw everything, partner. Oh. A perfect investigation with a happy ending. I'd expect nothing less from you. Hmm. Do you think it's a coincidence that the white goats and the lost recipe were in the same place? I have another theory. Maybe the white goats set out to find the bottle themselves because they couldn't stand to eat the wrong recipe anymore. I don't think that's the case, but it does make you wonder, doesn't it? We've worked together to chase 11 of the stories relating to Princess Zelda. You've really got the hang of things. You could probably get a full-time job at the paper if you wanted to. Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. Ah. Tracy gave us another bonus. It sounds like that article on Princess Zelda was a hit. Tracy was really excited about it. Anyway, here's the bonus. The job itself is rewarding, of course, but don't you agree these are nice too? Another hundred. Alright. I'm gonna hurry back to HQ and bring word of this story's conclusion to our readers. See you later, partner. I look forward to chasing another big scoop with you. So long. Okay, I'm going back there. I just want the last piece of the frog outfit. Also it gives me money. You know. Ah. Okay, oh. yeah. Foothill stable between Elden and Akala. Alright, thank you. Okay, Foothill stable. Right there. There's probably only a couple left. If it's giving me a reward of a hundred already. Oh yeah, the men in the underpants at the stable. Ah. Right. I didn't chase this one. Mm. They won't listen to me. They insist on following Princess Zelda's orders. Some of these underdressed men are set off to explore a place near here. Mm. There's a monster den up the road and haven't come back yet. Well. Okay. Let's see, I was looking this way. Why? Why mislead me?
Oh. I need to reach my friend. Where's your friend? Ooh, that is that is quite a distance. I don't know if I can do this, but I'll try. Like it has to be a pretty perfect attachment, otherwise it just doesn't work. Okay, that should be fine. No, he's <laughs> right here. I'm gonna keep accidentally doing that. Just to check over here for Korok. Cave here. Ah. Uh, ah, <sighs> I really thought we found it too. Who knows how long it'll take to open all of those one by one. My arms are just tired thinking about it. And every single chest we open, it's the same thing. A green rupee. It's like they're messing with us. What's the matter? Hmm? Shh, prison. Hush up. You again, you're the guy from before. Don't you have anything better to do than to eavesdrop on us? Uh? What's your deal? Wait, don't tell me you came to this cave to find Miss Ghost Treasure too. Uh? Preston, don't just say that. Shh. Uh. Ah, I mentioned Miss Ghost Treasure, didn't I? Sorry, Doc. Uh? Don't get any bright ideas. If you're planning on swooping in and snagging it, think again. Don't worry, Dak. With all those treasure chests in there, there's no way he'll ever find Miss Ghost Treasure. We've got nothing to worry about. Uh... Hmm. Got a point. Yeah, okay. Listen up, you. You've got our permission to enter that cave. If seasoned treasure hunters like us couldn't find it, you're not about to fare any better. Not unless you've got a nose like a dog so you can sniff out treasure. Oh. That's it, Dag. Let's give a dog some food and or something to get it to like us and lead us to treasure. Uh... I was being sarcastic, person. Uh... Sorry, Dak.
I don't think this is the cave that I need to go into, but I'll still go into it. Just to get the frog. Where is frog? Maybe I do need a dog. Oh no, wait, here. Alright, should be in here. Alright, I mean, we'll leave that for later. I just wanted the bubble frog. This is the one. <laughs> I can see them already. Aww. Princess Zelda has given us an order, so here we go, Sango. It won't be scary if we go both together, uh, all at once, on the count of three. One, two, three. Aww. Huh, Sango, why didn't you go? You don't move either, Dread. What's going on? Ah. What? Oh, it's you. I thought it was a monster. We're trying to conduct research on the monster holed up in this cave, but look at us. We're hardly geared up to deal with any threats. We can't bring ourselves to go in there. Our research is at a standstill. Ah. Princess Zelda sent out very specific directions for us on the survey team, and it's this, word for word. We will only find our future if we chart a new course, leaving the safety of indoor study for exploration in the wild. To prepare your mind and body and explore in, your, in underpants. I know Princess Zelda wants us to do it this way, but we're really only members of the survey team. Oh. It's scary enough to deal with monsters with equipment, but without any. Mm. Ah, if only someone could do this. Show us how it's done. Well then, we could try to do it without gear too. I'll try it. Are you serious? You'll need to go wearing as little as, as we are. You sure about this? That's fine. Now then, hold on to your other clothes and equipment you might have. Oh wow, this is actually going to happen. Ah! Just give us a shout when you want your equipment back. We'll hold back and learn your methods from a distance. We're just not confident in this whole physical side of things. Yeah, they grabbed absolutely everything, so this is like an even tide thing. No sage stuff either.
I shouldn't have picked those up because now they're not going to. I don't think I'll get to hang on to them. Okay, it's just for fun. <laughs> just going to walk back with absolutely nothing. See, it was easy. Oh. Wow, you survived. What? You really defeated monsters only wearing your underpants? I'm going to tell the other members of the team about your stunning work here. Please join us back at Foothill Stable. Uh -huh. Oh, but... But... Okay, we'll return the gear that I was holding for you. Mm. We'll head back to Foothill Stable and wait for you there. Okay, good, I can explore it. Is all the stuff gone? No, it's still here. All, all that loot. <laughs> Alright, where's the frog? Looks like I got to keep everything. There has to be a frog here.
I wanted that lizard. <laughs> Oh, it's the president. That's still a complicated one, why not? Should do. Oh. Well, it should have done. Try letting go. Ah! Fell to the side. This one's actually simple, you just need to thread it from the top. Uh, <laughs> How's the present standing? Sure. monstrosity. <laughs> I just wish they'd get marked on the map. Oh, great, you came. Everyone, this is the one who did our survey team a great service, defeating the monsters and just his underpants. Oh. Incredible, please tell us how this is actually done. Ah. Um, excuse me, what's all this with wearing only un underpants? Mm -hmm. oh, sorry, I guess you haven't heard Princess Zelda's order for all of us on the survey team. She said we have to leave the comfort of studying indoors. She ended with these words. So prepare your mind and body and explore in underpants. No, I got the order too. That's why I'm all the way out here doing research. What Princess Zelda really said was this. So prepare your mind and body and then explore all other paths. Not what you guys thought. <laughs> well, what's that? Then all this time we spent doing our survey research in our underpants was a total waste of time? <sighs> well, not entirely. Princess Zelda did say strengthen our mind and body and to take to go outside to push ourselves to excel like never before is that not the spirit of what we were trying to do our methods as researchers have truly been tested come on let's return to our work and keep this high standard forever mm. i see so the chirps and warbles that started us off here really paid off in the end what a story the team here botched the listening part and went overboard with the doing part. That's still commitment. Well, one thing's for sure, Princess Zelda really is a top-notch leader. What a powerful inspiration she is. We've worked together to chase 12 of the stories relating to Princess Zelda. I can't hear the chirps and warbles of my little birds anymore. It seems like this was the final rumor about Princess Zelda. I'm going to report this to Tracy. What this means is this is probably the last addition to your nest egg partner. 
Nice. I don't think there's a reporter anywhere else in Hyrule who makes the kind of money we're making. It really goes to show how much Tracy, I mean, how much the newspaper values you. If I'm being honest though, I have a feeling our days of swooping in on scoops are at an end. Ah, <sighs> some water must have gotten under my goggles. It was really a blast, partner. All that's left is to head back to the Lucky Clover Gazette and let Tracy know the job's finished. With that, I'll take wing. This story isn't going to write itself after all. So long. Alright, then I just have to go collect my reward. I have to make friends with Doggo. Doggo! Apples. Apples for Doggo. Apples everywhere! <laughs> I'm sure that'll get the friendship up. Where are you going, doggos? They're all going to multiple places, I need to... Okay, that's fine. This one gonna go to the cave. It looks like yes. Oh. It's not even in the cave. Hang on, hang on. More apples for Doggo. Have all the apples in the world. There we go. Come back. Don't go back, don't go back. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Okay, I'll drop meat. There you go, meat, meat. I don't think I can get it to go that far out. Well, it's back here now.
Come on, one of them has to leave me there. Apparently not. More apples. Each one leads you to a different spot. Let me try out this one. Could very well be the ruby was the treasure, but let's just see. Well, this one led me to a Korok seed. Oh! What's this? Yeah. okay. <laughs> Where is it? It's just up the road. So, I mean, I think this one's intended to be the carriage, which, yeah. Like, where's my cargo? Let's see if maybe the ruby was the treasure. There's a doggo here. It's this doggo that's gonna do it. 
Have the apples. Come on. They had a dog the whole time. <laughs> Idiots. It's gonna find a whole new chest, like one that isn't one of the ones here. Ember trousers. Ah? Okay. Huh? Oh, hey, what'd you do? Now who's eavesdropping? <laughs> no way, there's like a million chests in here. How'd you do that? Okay, yeah, we tailed you, I admit, but we never thought you'd actually find it. We've been hunting treasures long enough to know the rules. Finders, keepers. We're not going to try and take it from you. Uh... Yeah, no matter how cool it is. So jealous. Any treasure left in there? You know what? I'm gonna look for myself. Out of the way. Hmm. Treasure, you in there? Aha! Ah. God damn it, it's just a regular old bottle. Oh. I don't think we'll find anything else around here. Come on, Prison. Let's go find ourselves another cave. Ah! You got a duck. To you who have found my treasure, these ember trousers are but one piece of my grand collection. They have hidden an assortment of equipment across Hyrule. Notable pieces are obtained in strange lands near and far. You've done well to find this one, and I will reward you with a hint to another. The Fierce Deity Sword. Don the form of the Fierce Deity and return to this place. There are three keys you will need. One beneath the bedchamber of Akala's Red Crown Citadel, one in the skull's left eye, and one the clump. Good luck. Oh. You mean this? I'm gonna ditch this. I'm not a magic user. Fierce Deity Sword. <laughs> You've done well to solve my riddles and reach this place. The Fierce Deity Sword is yours to take. You found it. Yeah, I mean, probably go on my decoration shelf. I'm gonna go drop it off.
belongs. Put this to an end. Ma! Ah, trusty explorer, reporter. So, Link. Pens filled me in in all the latest. We're relieved that you managed to get to the bottom of every one of those rumors about Princess Zelda. And our papers, paper has circulation is stronger than ever. I'm almost speechless. Oh. Enough of that. You probably just want what I promised. Well, fair enough. Here's what you earned. Oh. That's... Wow. What do you think? Pretty good, huh? That will really help you stick to wet surfaces without slipping. Uh... In the end, we didn't actually uncover where Princess Zelda is. But now I know just who to call when we get another good lead. Until then, Link, you just keep doing you. Your part in all this will be clear soon enough, I bet. Oh. As for Pen, well, I've given them some time off with pay. Well deserved too. He did a lot of reporting. I did tell him, hey, you say something nice to your partner after all this? I think I put him on the spot, Link. He looked at me in an odd way and flew off with barely a so long. He was right in the middle of writing a news article, too. I can't say I know what it was about. He's bottling something up, maybe. Completed. Alright. Done. <sighs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna go see. Hey, Colin, how's it going? I may have gotten Hinox Guts to do this, let's see. I might need more. <laughs> it's Monday, yeah. It is. Going to rain all week for you. <laughs> well, welcome to my world. That's what it's been like here. So now that should bring the set bonus. Yeah, we're not using it for that. I need four more Hinox Guts. What? Ugh, man. It's gonna take forever.
Some of some of the stuff it's just it's so hard to do it. Because of how rare that some of this stuff is. But I think that's enough. Um I guess bring this. Let's just see where this goes. Ah. Stealthfish? I don't... Ugh. Man, it's even rarer. Everything else I have is just the fish. I need 30 of those fish. Man, I'm... Some of the stuff I'm just never gonna upgrade. Okay, I need more Hinox skills. Um, this I might look into, though. The problem is that the guts aren't a 100% drop. It's just like, you might kill one and it won't give you it. Uh, mm, mm. There's a lot more grinding in this one. one of the hero gear upgraded because whilst this is technically a hero outfit it's it looks weird just the blue uh, uh, mm. oh this is all just ruby and star fragments i'm gonna run out of ruby uh. requirement. Still rubies. I'm gonna run out. Alright, we'll leave it at, at that level, I think. <laughs> I don't have the money anyway. Okay, so what's the set bonus for this shit? Slip per- <sighs> Yeah! Something that I feel like should have been the default position, but... Okay. Slip immunity has been acquired. So now when it's raining, I guess I have to swap to that. Okay, cool. Um, alright. So, I mean, I just killed these recently. Now I need to use my knowledge of where Hinox live. Where's Giant's Hill? That one, Giant's Forest. That's like a dead giveaway. I want to say uh, what this set, just what it is, <laughs> in terms of upgrade. I don't think I'm going to wear it because I hate it visually, but I am intrigued about where it's going to go. Oh. 
It's not a lazy carcass, no, yeah, it is. Okay, that's fine, it's just a drive. Do I have four wheels? I have four wheels. I just need the steering wheel. I just, I just don't like... It could have been cool, but I just don't like it visually. Friend is here. I mean, this realization that there's actually less than 900 Koroks. The seeds add up to over 900, but the actual number of ones you need to interact with isn't, isn't 900. Because some of them are worth two. A lot of them are worth two. Okay, it's just over there. Yeah, the double ones are good, but as a result, it means there aren't as many as before. It just makes it seem that way. So that's kind of nice. <laughs> I'll collect that meat. Free meats. <laughs> but also, I have to do side quests. Um, the president, the bubble frogs, the Koroks, the caves. The wells. Alright, um, I'm gonna just drop guts. Let's see. Well, that's if I want 100% it. I'm not convinced I do. I mean, even Breath of the Wild, I technically didn't. Because I didn't do the map coverage. Wait a minute, can you just spam this? Well, it destroyed my thing. Ow, what the- what the fuck? Damn. 
Thank you. Side on if you please. Yeah, Zora weapons are kind of OP. Okay, I didn't drop Hinox guts. But still. Alright, so this is just a Stalnox. stuff so much. I bet I have to do Lionel horns as well. I just get the feeling that this arm- this- this armor is just gonna be killing every single big boss type enemy. And it's for something that I'm ultimately not going to wear. <laughs> I just don't like how it looks. It's creepy. doesn't register it. It should. No, because it's a boulder, it's not a rock. Um, I can still make another Korok stick. That was my Korok stick. Did I make a decision on Final Fantasy? Uh, not until Zelda's done. I, I don't think it's a good idea to have, like, two games that are extremely time-consuming kind of going on at the same time. I have it. I'm just not going to touch it yet. It's not like Zelda's gonna take much longer to finish, I don't think. Because otherwise I'll, I'll play nothing else. Because I think it, those, that's one of those games where you can't really put it down once you start it. That's 
another laser Korok, isn't it? Assuming I haven't done it already. I think it's already done, yeah. Two. What were you counting? Mm -hmm. You know, just the number of grievances I have against a certain someone. My brethren have been cut down, you see. Oh. The harm we suffered is truly... It's a Yiga. <laughs> I just realized. Because it doesn't actually have a name. Smacked. Just hit them with a wheel. I love how dumb this looks. Surprise, thought there might be one here. Earthquake move? Earthquake move? I don't think I did. I mean, I completed the shrine quest associated with the ego. And then got that blade. It's the blade that does the move. Wow. to go to the Yu clan hideout dressed as a Yu girl. But isn't that just a shrine quest and then you get the sword that gives you the, the thing? Like, it's not something you can do on every single sword, right? It's just specifically... Where is it? I don't have it. I put it away. I think I may have destroyed the blade, but... You go around to a bunch of Yiga shrines and then you put a banana on each shrine.
I'm kind of surprised. It's more empty than it was before. Well, I suppose I can't cl complain about the rain now, since I have climb immunity. It's still inconvenient, like I just have to swap. I mean, pretty much anything associated with a shrine I would have done, since I have all the shrines. <laughs> the earthquake is an ability on not a weapon. Hmm. So, like, you can use it on any weapon? Like, it's a button you press and you do an earthquake move? Or is it specifically the eager weapon that you have to hold? Like, I've been to this hideout. That was just a piece of clothing. It's not a shrine. Okay, I guess I haven't done it. Right, their hideout. Like as in their hideout in Breath of the Wild. From what you saw, it's a move you can only do while dressed as Yiga. It might just be the outfit set bonus. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. It's a quest? Yeah, I don't know. If it's a move you can only use when dressed as a Yiga, it may as well be the outfit set bonus. I mean, but I guess it technically is. You have to wear the outfit. I'm not going to be wearing the outfit to use that move specifically. Is this just in the same spot it was in Breath of the Wild? Pointing to. It's gotta be something simple. Hip, hip, what? 
No, it's already gone. Alright, so then it's not over there. But it might be hidden in a stump or something. That's just a standard axe head. Self more. How? Oh. Maybe there's more to this. All right, hang on. Before I even do that. It wasn't that. Where is this? It's going to be somewhere simple. I just, I don't see anything that's out of place. top of one of these but none of them stick out as being on their own <laughs> I'm gonna hate the answer yeah I thought it might be hidden in a stump or something, but it's not. Ugh, this one's kind of annoying. It has to be around the house, because that's where it roughly went off. Okay, so from here, and it's gone here, it's from this point here. <laughs> it's It's gotta be at the house. Unless it's inside the house, it could be very well inside. <laughs> no, never mind, you just had the same hair color. Too darn easy to make you two up. Anyway, get inside. Not Master Koga. 
Ooh. You must be the new Blade Master. If the rumors are anything to go by, then we branches are lucky to have you. And you're not here a moment too soon. Link let the tailor who made our outfits escape. Could you catch us a new one? Oh. You can recognize tailors by their gaudy outfits. Anyone dressed fancy enough should go do for a replacement. They don't have much sense, but they do know how to make clothes. They probably know about the great bandit Misko's clothing collection. I hear it was legendary to our uh, tailors. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to trouble you with such a mundane task, Blade Master. My apologies. Those tailors always walking down any road. Okay. Let's just look. I don't see... I don't see anything in here that's like... Looks like it could be a Korok. Unfortunately, I can't really take off the mask right now. It's not in here. Where is it? Oh my god. Please, oh. Uh. I swear. Yeah, I I, I know. How. <laughs> I thought maybe it could very well be this. Okay, that's kind of, guys, can you please Okay, surely that counts. Motherfucker. <laughs> Alright, it's here. I should have figured. I haven't had to do one of those in a while. There's one down there. I can already see it. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty much at the point where it's telling me to go fight Ganon. So, you know. Okay, so it needs to make a sort of Tetris piece on the bottom. Which it's already doing, so... Okay, I see it. I mean, <laughs> the wheels. Uh, it was a cool, it was a cool flat, but I just don't think I'm gonna be using it much. It's just, it's a lot weaker than other things. I 
can't get back up, can I? <laughs> what am I gonna play after this? Uh, not sure. It depends. If, if it's on the quieter side, I might just like call it early. It's Monday, so it's like, yeah. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's, that's not going to get me back up. Uh, okay. I'm just glad there's none of these ones where you have to jump over these barricades with horses. That's another one they seem to have gotten rid of. Not gotten used to those sounds. Okay, there's one. I haven't really looked around this entire area at all. There's so many things where I just kind of flew past and didn't really stop. So I'd bet there's like a couple of them around. I did get that one. Maybe this is fine. Okay, no. On that upper shelf, it looks like I kind of just flew past it up here. Alright, I'm gonna go look. I don't care how dumb it looks or how useful it is, the wheels look funny. Hup. 
Alright. A lot of these are going to be just because every time there was something to uh, take me up to the sky, I would always take it. So now I'm not going to the sky. Fire fruits. I just don't like magic. <laughs> just because they're just little projectiles that are just hard to aim with. Ah, oh, come on, man. But I want. This is the problem is like, I still want to use the Korok Mask. I'm still of the opinion they should have just removed the slipping altogether, like... The armor is just forcing you to constantly change outfits just because it's raining, it's still... It's still an inconvenience. If there were- if they had a loadout feature where you could save outfits... Sure. And maybe quick swap between them. But I have to go into the menu, I have to re-equip everything. Just so I can do this for a few seconds and then swap back. It's just... Wait, why, what are we looking at here? Okay, I have not gone on that bridge at all. Thinking about it more, like where to place this game in terms of 
what I rate as like being the best Zelda games, I still don't think this has made it to like that top tier. Because there's just... There's a lot of things that I, I feel like either aren't fleshed out or just I find not good. It's a very good game. Not to take anything away from it, but... I still think there's, there's certain things about it that just kind of rub me the wrong way a little. This is Korok. I heard it go off. Where is it? Oh, don't tell me. No, it can't be. Because this counts as a cave. It can't be in there. Where is it? I heard the thing go off. I'm not going crazy. Ah, there it is. Oh my god. <laughs> For example, the sage system. Well, it's cool. I like it. The problem is you have to walk up to them to talk to them to get the power to go off. And I, like, now that there's five of them following me, there are so many times where I'm trying to just interact with something or pick something up, and they just walk in front and I talk to them instead. Or, if I'm trying to talk to a specific one, another one will run in front and I'll pick the wrong one. Uh, uh, this is one of these things where I feel like it's a good idea, but its implementation is not, is not good. And so it kind of affects, it's a lot of, it's a lot of little things that kind of makes me go, this is a great game. I have really enjoyed it, but I cannot put it in the same line as like the ones that I consider the best in the series. Just as a result, it's just, there's so many little things. And I guess the big one is just the underground. Uh, it's just this largely unrealized area in my eyes. I mean, remember how we joked about the Korok reward being shit? Like, they just, they just straight up just did that again for the light roots. It's just cool. I got, I got this thing. Yeah. No, nothing to, like, cap it off. Like, maybe some interesting lore around it. Maybe a cutscene that talks about them more in the... Like, nothing to tie it into the story, really, outside of what you already know. It's just, oh yeah, good job, you did it. Here's, here's a little thing that'll go in your pause menu that you won't ever see again. For all that effort. And I'm very worried that the Koroks are just going to do the same thing again. It's most likely they're going to do the same thing again. I don't want to know, I don't want to look it up, because it's... It's I, it's going to dissuade me either way, so I think I need to know, I just need to not know, and just do it. And then I can complain about it. <laughs> it is most likely the poop thing again. Most likely. Like, I, I'm mentally prepared for that, and it'll be part of my critique of this game. I think the systems in it, they're just insane and really good, right? Like the sandbox stuff in this game is, is insane. Really outdid themselves on it, but... Like the other stuff, I don't know, man. It's just... Hmm. 
Oh yeah, that's that. It's a bridge, I figured it'd be there. There's another one down there. Enjoy it. I'll enjoy it while it lasts. It's just after this, <laughs> I don't think I'll be touching a Zelda game for a very long time. easily. No, okay. I do want to make a video where I talk about my experiences in all the Zelda games, since it is kind of fresh in mind and I've gone through all of them practically. Just give my ranking of them. Kind of like that tier list thing that you see, but less lazy. Oh, this is a Yiga thing. No? No, it's a base camp. I thought it was a Yiga thing, just because this dude was standing on his own. Yeah. Okay, has a name, not Yiga. Good day. Oh, might you be a traveler? I'm camping here so I can investigate the giant ruins that fell at the entrance of the Garuda Canyon. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this is setting up. Oh. What's coming up ahead? Another one. Probably at the bridge itself. I think I'm, I'm at a, a whole number now. That would bring me to like 480, I believe, if not more. Oh, there's one of these here. Alright. I'll find out what's in it. Oh, the steaks. Awesome. I need steaks. I ran out. Yeah, that should reveal them all, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Surprise, I thought there'd be a Korok here. Huh. 
probably just a chamber that has a treasure chest somewhere. <laughs> Trying to use the ladder in reverse. Yep, there is. Okay. So it's... yeah. I can't reach it. Alright, so what I need to do... This will do. That'll that'll work. All right. Moving it. I was led to believe that this works. So what? Hang on. What's the point of the schematic then if it doesn't do that? Not this one. Yeah, the, oh, because it's an anti-gravity platform. No, oh, that's my one. All right, well, I mean, either way, this will work. Just honestly do that and just go through it. There we go. <laughs> it works. Really? That's all it was? Oh, wow, what a waste of time. Really? Really? I mean, I was expecting a treasure map at least. Oh crap, we're in. I suppose it's probably easier than I thought to get in there. Oh, 
Okay. What, what do you mean unbearable? What do you mean unbearably cold? How is this the mountain? <laughs> How is this mountainous? I'm nowhere near a mountain. I need to consult a map and see where the Hinox are, because I thought I would naturally come across one. But the ones that I know... It's the three that I've already killed and there hasn't been a Blood Moon since. Hey, Messiah, how's it going? Uh, yeah, I mean, week's start's been good because I didn't have to work today, so... I'm just caught up on some video editing. Wait, I'm not allowed in here? Oh. There's been some abnormal weather, blazing heat. It's dangerous to go in this area. Prepare yourself. Mm? Okay. Oh. Mm. How do you best warm up when it's cold? Stay near a fire. Oh. When it's hot out, where should you cool off? A shady spot. Um, chill shroom. Ah. Into a cave. Jeez. Ooh. <laughs> okay. I guess I guess that's intended for just people that don't pick up on those things on their own. I saw a video of a dude that, like, uh, got on his horse for the first time. And then... Had that thing where, uh, you know... It looks like you're about to get struck by lightning. And he thought, oh, wait, what the... Did they just change colour? Whoa, they changed color? So I... What? I... Okay, I did not know that. Anyway, the dude thought that getting on the horse meant you were going to get struck by lightning randomly. Just kind of tried to put two and two together. That's not how it works. I didn't know they did that. Just, yeah. Kind of painful to watch it. Okay, um... Just because this one's on, like, a weird angle. Just want to save myself some time here. Because then I can mount this just straight on. There we go. <laughs> Simple. How's the president standing? Tails. Okay, uh, yeah, I mean, I think this should do for now. 
I just wanted to get a start on this, so let me go. Because it's been a while. I didn't realize I'd already been playing this for three hours. I still think this is so dumb. I just don't... I just don't... <sighs> I just don't like it visually. It's it's the face. It's the face that I just I hate. I just hate it. It just doesn't look right. Okay. Oh, that's it? So they, they did the same thing again. That's just... And now the rest of them. No more rewards. Okay. It's going to be poop again. Alright, but yeah, I'm morbidly curious about what the upgrades for this are going to look like. So I am hunting down Hinox, and you require a lot, which I guess makes sense, because it's only one piece. But still, it's visually... yeah, I don't know, man. Maybe it's just me. I don't like the look of it. <laughs> okay. Uh, that'll do it for Tears of the Kingdom for today. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm still on the fence about the Korok Seeds, but I thought about it. It's just, there's actually less than, than 900 when you think about it, because there's, there's a large number of them that give you two. So it's like the total number of Koroks is less, but the number of seeds is more, I believe is how it works out. So... I'll sleep on it, but... I mean, other than that, I just have whatever's left in, in the adventure log, and then... It's just this, pretty much, so... Alright. Uh, I'm gonna take a uh, intermission chat, and then we'll, we'll come back and do something else. But if you're here for uh, Tears of the Kingdom, thank you for watching. And yeah, if you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking, buttons, algorithm, whatever I usually say. But thank you so much to those that have been doing that so far. It does make a big difference. <laughs>